Yes. From the audience. Oh, here's one in the front. Yeah. Oh, what's my favorite book that I wrote? I think Knucklehead is one of them. Or I like this one because it's the very first one. But I kind of like Stinky because you get to say Stinky Cheese. I kind of like them all. <laughs> yes? What's my favorite book I ever read? I like the uh, Three Little Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what one of my favorite all-time books is? It's a book I read when I was little, and I still read it today. It's Go Dog Go. Did you ever read that book? It's about a bunch of different colored dogs, and they drive around in cars, and the one gets a party hat. I just thought, that is so good. Yeah. Yes. He really had to make an effort? Oh, because it hurts. That was a comment, not a question. I'm glad you clarified that. Yes. Oh, my favorite story from the guy's read book. I think I like the Jack Ganto story, the humor one in the humor book, because it's a story about him just being an idiot. <laughs> he even said that, too. He said, I don't know, I was just being crazy when I was a kid. Did you get to read that one yet? Oh, it's kind of disgusting, too. <laughs> There's a yes, the one where he gets the wart on his foot and pulls it out with rusty pliers. <laughs> Kind of a guy thing. <laughs> His editor could not even read that story. Like she couldn't read the whole thing. She's just going like, oh no. Yes. Do you pick out the illustrators you work with or the Oh yeah, it's kind of unusual. He wondered if I pick out the illustrators I work with. I got to know Lane before we sold the book, which is very unusual. Um, usually they'll buy your story and then they put an illustrator with you. But I knew Lane, and we just came together. In fact, Lane ended up selling that story. And once we were successful, they let us keep working together. So now I love picking illustrators. Yeah. My favorite is character from Space Heads. I think it's got to be Major Fluffy. Because <laughs> he's just so funny. Oh, in book three, guess what else he speaks? He talks to Michael Kay's baby sister. Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> Eight more pages. <laughs> I was thinking of writing a whole book of major fluffing. It could just be supremely annoying. <laughs> or it might be a cash crop. <laughs> I think that diary of a wimpy kid book that was all blank and said, oh, fill in your own diary. <laughs> I have to give Jeff Kinney a lot of grief for that one. Nice job, Jeff. <laughs> Big people, you can ask questions too. That's okay. Oh, yeah, in the back. Oh, what am I working on now? A combination of stuff, like more guys read stuff. And then I'm also doing a book called Battle Bunny, which is a poor little 10-year-old kid gets a book from his grandma, which is just a terrible book, like an old golden book about a bunny having a birthday. And then he just messes it up and turns it into Battle Bunny. <laughs> the librarians are gonna love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Which part did you write? Um, I wrote the boy part. <laughs> the story I wrote with Kate DiCamillo is, um, it was based on a, it wasn't Judy Bloom, was it, who wrote Dear Mr. Henshaw? Who was that? Oh, Beverly Cleary. Oh, yeah, I mix them up all the time. Uh, <laughs> so it's about like a kid who writes to an author and says they have to get author stuff and they form this really nice bond. So Kate and I wrote a story where I wrote to her as like the wise guy kid. I was going to say something else. Over. Like a wise guy kid who says, um, we got to write to an author. I don't even know who you are, but just send me some author stuff. Let's get this over with. <laughs> and Kate writes back just kind of as an incensed author. But like, I don't know who you're writing to or why. But it just became so much fun. So we just kept going letters back and forth. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Jessica. I got, I got a question. We got a question, actually. Oh, yes. Jack! Oh. Jack, what are you doing here? Oh, Jack from the Stinky Cheese Man. Hey, hey, everybody. And Stinky. 